Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Workers and Resources. Policia is on its way over uh, to, uh, I don't know, find some kind of cr criminal going on. I've added the black police cars here. I've got five of them in this one. And uh, I've taken some of the police cars out of this one and stuck them in over here because this has been done and I haven't really been working it much. So we now have a police staff over on this side and three police cars. If we need a fourth, I'll add it. But this gives us coverage over pretty much everything, including the mine all the way up there, which is nice. It doesn't give us coverage of the other city, which we're not really building yet, but it does give us coverage of the scrap area too. So all of the stuff considered, I think we've got pretty decent coverage of police right now. I'd like to take a look. This is going to get done today. I'm, I'm certain of it. The cableway station is going to get done today. <clears throat> what I want to focus on today, though, is I want to talk about loyalty. Okay? So up until this point, I haven't done anything with secret police. And that's because there's no reason to do secret police. I know everybody's loyalty is low. Where the heck is it? Right here. Uh, I know everybody's loyalty is low. So there's no point in making this building. Like, this building, in case you're uh, new to the game, it allows you to basically spy on your citizens. You go and travel to their place while they're not home. You install security cameras and microphones in all their apartments so you can hear. And this is the big brother, okay, thing. And this gives us an idea of who is loyal and who isn't so that we can go ahead and put people who are loyal in strategically good positions. Things like making sure that loyal people are, are at the university, things like that. So this building requires workers and it requires a few cars. And I was thinking about putting it right over here. Uh, we can get people working at this place now. So I'm going to place this building right here. Now, is this asphalt yet or no? It is not. Is, is this? No. Okay, so I need to do some asphalt roads through here, which I haven't yet done. I don't want to block important things like the fire department and stuff, though. That's the problem. So we're going to just take and make this part asphalt for now. And then we'll have to do this in, in stages. To do this in, in waves or in stages or whatever. But when we get this building operational, we'll then understand people's loyalty more. This is only really necessary after you have the radio station, in my opinion. Because before you have a radio station, you're not going to have good loyalty anyway. It's going to be, you know, at the most, you're probably going to have some citizens that are maybe in the mid, mid to high 50s uh, percentages. It's not going to matter as much. So right now, our average government loyalty is 36%. It's not very high. We want to get that, of course, to as, as close to 100% as possible. It is almost impossible to get it to 100%. You're not going to get it to 100%. Let's just call it what it is. You're not going to get it to 100%. But it's very, very good to have this be as, as high as possible because people's productivity goes up when they're happy and they're loyal. And if you make them unhappy, they may not leave if they're loyal. So happiness and loyalty sort of work together in that, let's say we have a really bad winter and all of a sudden I can't provide heat for like three days and I finally get it up operational. Or we have this stint of time, like a week, where they can't buy clothing. This is going to make everybody upset. They can't get the things that they want. They're starving. They, uh, they went to prison, for example. Or uh, uh, they have just in, in general, they have something that they wanted that they could not get. That reduces their happiness. But if their loyalty is high, they won't leave your republic just because of that. So that's what you want. You want people to stay. We're at 6,300-ish people with the 63% uh, workers with higher education. Those higher education workers have had a lot of stuff invested in them to keep them in this building and to keep them in the republic. So we want to make sure that they are loyal. One of the other benefits of being able to have the secret police is that we can now use this minimum government loyalty for employees and rack this up to 65, 70%, et cetera, to making sure that everyone who is uh, being a student at our university is being trained by somebody who is loyal, which will help their loyalty in, in return. Most loyalty stats, and you can see the stars, most loyalty stats are all question marks right now. We don't know what their loyalty is because secrets, secret police are required to get that done. So first thing I'm going to do is just going to make sure that that road's done and then I can get these guys hooked up. I really don't want to make dirt roads anymore. I've been kind of trying to pave things a little bit. We got pavement out here. We got some stuff laid in over here, kind of getting ready to go. I'd like to start getting this 
building built fairly soon but there's no point in having this built until the rail is out this way and it's happening all right it's it's, it's a process but it's happening the slow dude oh he's going that way where's he where's he going oh you know what i did i did this yeah yeah, yeah. I, I did that before i shouldn't do that let's uh keep that going now at the moment this is gonna have to go here and then it's gonna have to turn around and go back the other way so having some sort of crossover here is probably gonna be advised um at least by like a little wooden one once the rail network is fully built and is ready for electric trains and stuff the little tiny wooden rails won't matter because the electric trains won't won't use them uh what else did i want to talk about we have bought a bunch of boards so at least we have that for construction projects oh um the cableway right so they're very close to done with this we're getting very close we are uh these are light cableway poles okay now i chose the light ones because they're inexpensive to build and because i don't need as many workers as the heavy poles are going to be able to push through uh we have to get this one done yet it's six work days and then this one is also like 20 work days uh do i not have uh, the buses have been told to do that they're just not out here yet so what i need to do here is i need to purchase the cableway cars for this right so we, I want to get that taken care of now, too. The cableway cars, we're going to need an open haul truck. And I'm going to borrow. Let's borrow you. Borrow you. Nope. I have one right here. Never mind. We will I have two of them. How do I have two of you? Doesn't matter. Let's not look a gift horse in the mouth. <laughs> I've got it. So we're going to tell you to come over here. You're going to load vehicles. And uh, we could, you know really dig in and say only this but i'm not gonna bother with that so we're just gonna say any vehicle that's in here because there aren't any other vehicles in here and then what i want you to do is i want you to bring those vehicles over to here because this one is done and that's exactly what we need all done so go ahead and make that the route so that's gonna allow us to bring the new cable cars these are brand new. I could buy used ones, but we need a lot of them. So it's kind of unlikely that we're going to have anything meaningful here. Yeah, not really. Uh, so let's go over to the new ones. And we want to do with uh, not cargo cars. Those are later, but we're looking for passenger, not cabins. Oh, it is cabins. Okay. I thought that was for the trains. Never mind. So we have heavy and light. I chose the light poles, so I need to use the light cabins. And uh, so we have each of the heavy ones, right? They can take like 12 passengers for each one, all right? And then these ones are four a piece. I'm okay with this because it's a constant flow. And then you see the V3, it's just the cheapest one. I don't need anything expensive. I can go the cheapest one here. So I can say, uh, probably gonna need about 25 to start. So we'll just say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Let's start with 20. Mm, 20 is 80 people. On like an ongoing rotating basis. Let's do 25. So that gives us 100 people moving through here, right? The 100 people moving through here gives me full coverage on the coal power plant. It gives me maxed out on the processing plant. It's going to allow me to work a substantially more productive workflow with waste production uh and it's also going to get me what i need for steel that's pretty much it eventually we'll have these two buildings here too and that's okay we can still get a bus route that comes in here and, and fills the gaps but the uh, the lighter cost of the of the light poles uh, combined with just lower power for not needing to push a heavier stuff and the fact that it's a long distance etc all that stuff means light now, if I was going to do one for the coal mine, I would use the heavy cars because this building needs a maximum of 220 people. So when we start working with Cernakova, I'll have another cable car line, I think, probably starting right here. Everybody can walk to it, and then it'll just take them up to the mine up here. Speaking of Cernakova, we laid out this town with the old housing, right? And some of these things, I mean, I could let this build. I could. None of these have been started yet. Um, I, I think, though, because we have better housing, maybe it's worth, since none of the stuff is actually built yet. Uh, I, don't think, I don't think any of this stuff is built yet. Yeah, these are all pending, I think. 
we could put in better housing in this area too. I haven't gotten there yet, of course, but we could do that. Some of these walking paths are done though. Like this one here is completed. We might have to keep an eye on, on those because we might have to tear down some of them. We'll have some construction waste and stuff. And we're going to start tearing down quite a bit of stuff soon. So getting a proper deconstruction office or demolition office could be in our uh, best interest because we're going to need to do it soon. I also want to get started producing explosives, but I, I, I need this torn down so I can really see the spacing I'm working with. I'm thinking four or five chemical plants and then the explosives plant with it all connected with forklifts and a warehouse. And then uh, that warehouse will also be a transition point for covered hull trucks to bring crops from here to there. We could also set up crop distribution, which will definitely be a thing. And then crop distribution could just use this warehouse as another drop off point. Or I just go in and I make sure that uh, there's another storage for grain in there somewhere, you know. Uh, taking a look at food, we're keeping up with it right now. Now that we have a location we have a uh, building which I've, I've spent a little bit more dollars on getting people so you might notice the dollars are a little bit lower and the population a little bit higher because i really need that I, I just need more people to work i've spent more money on them and I'm, again i'm making them all go to the food factory and so these guys in this house specifically are going to drive they're going to be the engine that drives my food okay keeps my food program running and keeps it to where people are not uh, starving in my republic all right so on this episode of the game is trying to screw me over <laughs> my power plant is on fire right that's a real fire a big one my power plant behind this helicopter now luckily we have built the helicopter or we've built the power plants and stuff right next to a source of water so helicopter should be able to get on this but since it's the power plant i've had to go in and uh turn everything to purchase mode right now because while a building is on fire it is not productive that is not, that's, not, that's my power right there so i have to stop that in the other case of the game trying to kill me there is currently a pandemic going on so that's cool um i think it's a message back here somewhere uh uh right here epidemic situation oh never mind it just overridden me uh let's go back over to like right here uh, and this is the one that has severe complications or even death. It's not that infectious, but the ones that have it are really likely to die. So I have to make sure that my health system is rock solid. I think it's probably time to at least get one more ambulance here. And I'm thinking I'm just going to buy it right there. And then, of course, the uh, final slot here is reserved for a helicopter once I'm able to, to do that. And I will need a medical university in order to do that. So it's not a huge priority yet, but as we get over here, I'm, I think I am going to put the medical university over on that side. Okay. Well, yeah, this isn't quite done yet. I was going to wait a little bit longer to show it to you and, and get it up and running because this, this video is supposed to be about loyalty and, and getting that started. But, uh, well, what do you want me to do? My power plant broke. Uh, there we go. Yep. So let's crank that back up and crank that back up. There we go. Okay. So now the power plant can remain and can get back up and get to work. That's going to be great. We also have another right over here. So I have a new garbage stand going in right here because this one is overflowing. And there's just, there's so much garbage in this area right now that we can't take it. I think it's the cinema's fault. I don't know. There's a lot of people. All right in that cinema and it's possible you see this plastic waste right a lot of this is plastic stuff so i'm going to try to provide a place for plastic waste to go as well there's two different dumps right here now once this is completed but this is causing pollution at the moment and pollution means if you're causing pollution that means people are are getting sicker so you just need to have a really rock solid health system and uh thankfully we've got plenty of doctors to treat the sick we got lots of ambulances. We have adequate storage for the hazardous waste, biological waste, etc. So I think we're going to be okay. But that pandemic is kind of scaring me just a little bit. So I'm looking forward to uh, hopefully solving this garbage issue here too. I'm thinking I need more garbage trucks. Because there's none here, right? There's none here. And uh, they 
yeah, they're, they're just not getting all the garbage. If I take a look at the overlay really quick, actually. Uh, waste overlay. So you see there's 102%, 150%, right here, 177, 180. These are terribly trashy areas right now. 116%. So we have to do better with garbage in this area. 177% there. Uh, we definitely need to do better. Now, these garbages, these, these dumps, are getting very close to full. And this garbage office garbage office yeah this garbage office uh it should be selecting this one as its dumping point i think um and then there was another one over here but i don't really have much for trucks on this yet but i could tell you to bring the waste here and maybe you'll go ahead and do it i think this is probably a bad spot for this and i i want to move it but uh it this is supposed to be a, like a local thing but i kind of want to repurpose these trucks now to be they're, they're the big container ones, so they're not going to matter with the small container ones. They're not going to be able to do anything with the small container ones. But I'm thinking definitely getting more garbage trucks is in my best interest. So why don't I go ahead and get another technical services office? Can I have a can I have another free one? No. So I have a lot of these little independent plowing ones, and um, those are helpful because we need snow plows, but. I, I just need another technical service office that has garbage trucks. Hey, there's this one just finished. Yeah, this is where we can do the garbage trucks then. So this one, I think, I think garbage is okay here. It's not, it's not a great location for garbage trucks, admittedly, but I just need a few. So if I can go with a uh, waste truck, yeah, there it is. I want the small containers, small container loadings, okay? And let's get the ones that have big capacity. So it's these ones. And we'll say, yeah, I think this is the white trucks like this. Although I do like the look of these ones better. But these ones just have a much higher capacity. And I think that they're, well, now they have higher capacity, but they don't really travel very fast. Maybe the travel speed does matter here. I like the look of these ones more. I'm just going to do this one. We're going to go with uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, let's do five. Five of these small garbage trucks, and then the rest of these will be some snow plows. We'll do these Kaz snow plows. All right, that'll be a good, that'll be a good technical service office. And then mixed waste, as you know, we have to select the source. We're gonna tell the mixed waste to go here. I really gotta hope that this cable car thing is done soon. You gotta be done. We got uh, how many cars? Just two cabins in the station. All right, and we're just gonna make sure that your yeah, something like that is fine. Uh, two cabins in the station. And then over here, we got to see very, very close to being done. They're also nearly done with the radio here. So we're about to wrap that up. It's going pretty quick with the, uh, the, the tower cranes and stuff in there. Uh, let's take a look at the population really quick. We've lost 200 people. So this is the first month in a while where we've had a net negative in population. Of course, we brought in immigrants and stuff here with my... My dollars, I keep, I keep doing that. It's cheap, and I have no, I have no other use for the dollars. So it's just like whatever. It's probably expensive, but I have no use for dollars other than that. So, uh, and then with this house up and running, we could maybe look at. I think honestly, we need to look at having more waste in there. I don't think there's nearly enough waste bins in this. Uh, there's a lot of biological stuff that's going to happen in here. Uh, we got these bins, which is cool, but well. These ones cover these five houses, right? And then this one covers the other four. The other five, sorry. I guess it covers a lot more than five. five. Um, and then these ones in here are supposed to cover the ones that are on this end. And then this one's supposed to cover the ones on this end. So I, I, I hesitate to say that this is a, f a fine arrangement. But I think having waste... That, that thing over there where the waste is full, it's got me paranoid. So I'm going to put another one uh, right here next to the... Yeah, right here next to the supermarket. And then I think I kind of want another one in here somewhere. Um, I could do it in the middle, but again, I'm trying to make sure I don't block any potential opportunity to put some good stuff in there. What if I was to try this? Does this work? Can you fit right through here? Eh, it's, it's too far away anyway. I want to get these, these buildings here. So if I was to go, let's say, like this... All right, let's say all of you are connected to this one, right? If that's the case, then I should be able to come straight across 
the road here. Okay, and then if I connected a waste bin right here, that would get all those houses. That'd be fine. All right, the first thing I want then is I want this built. Uh, we gotta get this built so that I can build this, so we'll do that. I also, in order to work this radio station at full capacity, needed to get this done. So this is on its way in. Looks like it's about ready to pave it, pretty good. So we'll hopefully get that taken care of. I'm not sure if it needs workers or not. It does say it has somebody. Somebody said it had like 25 work days or something. Yeah, it doesn't need workers. Okay, I think it's something about 25 work days to complete, and they won't send equipment. You have to send workers. This is easily a long enough stretch, but if you do really short stretches, then it gets more difficult. All right, so these are passengers waiting. We don't want passengers here. We want workers, and I believe we need these actually to start on the other side so we need people to get here to to load onto the cabin right so there should be a truck that is currently in route bringing cabins in all right you have five of them that's fantastic let's find where you are okay before you deliver these to the wrong location all right we're going to tell you instead to bring them right here okay you're going to unload your vehicles right there so let's get rid of that stop and we'll tell you, yep, to go to this stop here, okay? You should blaze right past that now. Yep. Because we don't need them here, right? If they're here, then we, we can't uh, we can't bring people over. The, the idea is people get on the cars, they ride them over, and then once they're here, then they can ride the cars back. But there's no reason to ride the cars back, so the cars just loop, okay? We need them to originate on this side. And we, of course, need workers to be here, too. So once we can get workers here, that'll be sweet. And I think I want maybe... kind of. I'm kind of leaning towards you guys just working wherever you want to work. But I would really love it if you would work here. You should be able to reach it. I mean, pretty much a lot of people. Yeah, everybody should be able to reach this. There's a cable car. Is there anybody in it? No. Nobody's... Nobody's in it. Okay, well. Yeah, load. Load. There's workers waiting. Okay, good. So now that we have workers waiting in here, at least this, at least it's triggered enough to where we could get that started. And then we just need all the vehicles brought this way. So all those cable cars just need to get over here. All right. Research-wise, I think maybe we're going to go down metal scrap separ uh, metallic scrap separation. Sounds good. This is also looking like it's getting close to full on the waste. Is there not enough waste coverage for this building to eat either? Ooh, biological is full here. Give it a little bit more capacity. It's not really collecting much mixed waste on this location, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go heavier on the biological here. It's probably because it has to do with I don't know if water treatment has to do with biological waste, probably. I mean it's water, so possibly. Uh, if we take a look at the overlay really quick, take a look at it again. Let's see where we're at. So 109% here, 100% there. Okay. So we're starting to finally empty out the trash. Good. And we have that reinforced little area here. So more trash coverage there. Overlay is looking good. I don't see anything building up anymore. It seems pretty solid. How about over here? Anything, any waste building up? Anything over like 50%. Obviously, this is 100% because it's, you know, the waste treatment plant. Uh, yeah, and then that truck that's bringing vehicles. That's what it's all about. It's getting people in here. Each one of these cars can handle four workers. So, it says there's three. Yeah, there it goes. That's going to send three workers. And they've only been traveling. Yeah, they're going to they're gonna be able to reach their destination just fine. Cool. So this is the start of our stability. All right, it's it's gonna happen sooner or later. It's gonna happen. Um, I would like to start by having you reach this building. So everyone who comes into this this cableway right now, I would like to start by having all of you who come into the cableway make their way to the incinerator so that we can start processing this garbage because we're gonna get full. I mean, everything's gonna get filled up again. So that's the whole reason this thing exists, man. Not to. It's not to power our colony. It's not to power our republic. It's to burn. Uh, to burn waste and clear the way for things to get emptied out. 
so that we don't uh don't get super sick okay and that just makes some power and, and make some money along the way while we're getting rid of it okay so it looks to me like the radio station is now complete now we start things off with 61 percent of our population having a radio that's pretty good obviously we're going to do better but that's pretty good in the beginning we are going to have lots of cultural enjoyment but unfortunately that is going to lead to a decrease in loyalty we don't really want that we could start with more propaganda and that's going to reduce the impacts on that a little bit but until we get really loyal citizens we want to try to keep this number as much as we can we want to try to keep this number green because that means that the radio station is actually helping us instead of hurting us but as we get better and better people who are more loyal in this radio station oh oh garbage containers over full oh all the stuff i was focusing on and i didn't focus on this uh hang on we need to do garbage here all right so i'm gonna put a garbage bin i was really hoping to put it here but it's like that's actually oh it's part of that school okay uh we're gonna need to put it over by the orphanage anyway so we'll hit, we'll have a garbage bin here do two of them we'll do one right here and then one right next to it and then we'll say this is done yep we'll say bop and bop and let's get both of those at least at least one of them needs to be on a high priority here i think all right try to get that working um of course that doesn't connect very well until this stuff is done so like we could maybe bump that up a little bit in priority just to kind of get this little bit done but yeah garbage trucks are gonna have to get on this internal garbage stand is not full anymore oh yeah garbage trucks are at least able to come directly here so that's good uh so that means we got the garbage trucks here working they they need another place to put things so hazardous waste needs to go to the border let's say there there we go plastic waste i don't really have a place for plastic waste uh so why don't we sell that yeah let's let's just use the same settings we already have we'll say that this building settings copied to here all right and then i don't know if i really want to change anything about this yet i was thinking the metal scrap could go someplace different but this building isn't done yet so not really how many cables do we have can i turn this on everything right now yeah we don't have anybody waiting and we have no cable cars so i i can obviously can tell one of these places to just only work there and then we'll get flooded with different cable cars but until we until we have enough of them we have like 20 or something to bring here so and then yeah, this one has so there's seven on the track okay we can have a maximum of 70 of these things wow we can have 70 of these things i had no idea it was going to be that extreme so all right let's say passenger cabins we want <laughs> let's just do that we'll, we'll just really get a whole bunch of uh, a whole bunch of cabins in there so we can really drive people over there okay the snow is finally going away and all the world can return to normal <laughs> at least i hope anyway this shopping center is starting to become insufficient we're getting very close to not being able to serve everybody and um it's actually out of meat now so of course anyone who's coming here wanting meat isn't going to be able to get it and uh i think the meat truck is coming yeah there it is it just takes a while to get there and it, it's never fully full so i actually don't like the meat trucks being part of the distribution center i like the meat trucks just coming right in parking themselves here and just waiting until they're empty and then going to get more that's what i generally like to do and eventually i probably will end up doing that uh but for at the, at the moment i'm a little bit you know i was short on money and short on vehicles and things like that so i kind of just doing what i can but this is starting to become insufficient so uh we, we need to get construction going on over here i started them working on asphalt roads over this way it's just going to take time and uh, i'm pretty sure we're going to need biological waste on this at least for maybe six of them because we got people coming in through here um we now have 17 cabins on this track which is pretty good i'm gonna go ahead and have a dedicated workforce here basically gonna tell all the people in the flats here to jump on into this this cableway station and um you know get ready to to ride the cableway the issue i mean this thing can have 70 on there to have a constant flow of people moving through here you kind of need to have near this max 
So it's going to take me a little bit longer to to get that those cabins run in here. But when they get over here, we're now telling them is an undis unspecified. So when they do arrive at this location, they can choose where they go. And so far, they're choosing the incinerator a pretty good amount of time. That's nice. Separator is doing really well. Mixed waste is gone over here. So that's perfect. And we're going to start pulling it in from the other sources now. And we've now fixed the waste issue. So the cableway should also be giving us a really good stability on power now. I don't see any reason why this should ever shut down as long as that cableway is going nonstop. It would be a very good idea to maybe prohibit really smart people like the 102 that are in this building from working here. So possibly what I should do instead is maybe say that no, none of the really smart citizens should move here. And I probably should move and they're not going to like this, right? They're, they're a little grumpy when you move them forcefully, but if I relocate people to be over in this side instead, maybe like over here like that, then I can get, get them away from that building and uh again they're not gonna they're not gonna be very happy about that but i'm trying to get it to where there are no university educated people living in this building and then uh just invite a bunch more over here to to fill it up and we'll relocate again the, the highly educated people should be over here near the hospital anyway really so there you go so now this building is all cableway and no university educated people are in there and that's going to help the university educated people to, to go off and do other things. All right. So radio station, let's take a look at it one more time here. Um, as we get more government loyalty, we'll be able to start prohibiting people from working in certain locations until they are a sufficient loyalty, but we won't know what they are. If their work, if their loyalty is unknown, then they're allowed to work here. So this is, this is the next building we need is the secret police. I'm going to let this road continue building. And then I need to get construction started on this one. In fact, I could probably just do that right now. Let's just go ahead and put in this road. It should cancel this project. It should, yeah. It'll cancel that. Or at least divide it into multiple. Oh, it's just... it just Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's do that. And then uh, go ahead and get the road built right there. And I want that to be your next top priority. All right. I'm going to let that build. And let my Republic just continue to run. If you're if you're, you're curious about the rails, you can see that they've, uh, they've been doing work on them, right? And all this stuff is happening. I've had lots of comments saying, what about the rail? What about the rail? Are you building the rail? Yeah, it's all building in the background. I'm not going to focus on it. Um, I've, I've planned it out. I've got the track builders in place. I've got logistics set up to bring them lots of prefab panels and steel to this location. They have plenty of resources to make all the rails. So I'm just going to kind of let them go. It's all autopilot at this point. Um, kind of the same thing with, I've got good logistics for repairs, although we are missing a little bit of plastic. No, we're not. It's right there. So we've got good look, good logistics for repairs. Our buses should be, you know, kind of getting maintained when needed. They don't get repaired all the time, but when they get to like 50% wear and tear, then they start getting repaired, right? We got uh, a lot of these cisterns and stuff that I could just have spring to life to go sell some more bitumen potentially. As we get new workers, we should see this number improve because I'm removing the buses that are taking uh, people from over here. Uh, so we don't need as many buses to go over to coal, right? And as soon as I get, I wanna say maybe 40 or so cabins on this track, I'm gonna actually remove the bus route over there entirely. There just won't be a bus route over here. Uh, that's probably a bad idea. Let's, let's do one bus. We'll do one bus, one mini bus that takes them directly to this building. That's probably a better way to do it. One mini bus that goes directly to this building and, uh, It'll just go back and forth and that's it. So that if the power ever does shut down for whatever reason, you know, we need power in order for the cable cars to work. So if they do shut down, it's like, oh no, how do I get my power restarted? The little mini bus will come in and save the day, restart this, get the cable cars running again, and the cycle can continue. Uh, that's the hope anyway. So I don't know if that's the best way to go about it, but that's what we're going to do. I really want to get this to be asphalt as well. Um, they still aren't done with these two roads. I suspect it's maybe because of the work days thing. So I kind of want to get, I think I could get maybe a couple of these houses to just do it. I wish I could send them to road construction and say, Hey guys, just do this because it's disrupting my, my flow of my buses or maybe it isn't. I mean, 
Hell, maybe having them come all the way around and do this is better. It's all right-hand turns instead of left-hand turns. Maybe it's... Maybe that's the better way to play that. It's a, it's a longer drive, too. Uh, this is a one-way. It's going to prevent any uh, problems with this road. So if anybody wants to come on this road from this road, they have to come over here. And then they'll have to come this way and then over. So I'm going to make this a one-way as well, but it's going to be from that direction instead. So it'll be something like that. And then we'll end up making it a one-way that goes that direction. Yeah, I'm setting up my future city blocks here. Just trying to figure out how my spacing and my roads are. I know it's not very interesting. Okay. That's why I'm not showing you everything. Because I know land roads is, you know, snooze fest for a lot of you guys. So I'm just kind of doing it on uh, on my own. Okay. And uh, we'll have the have this road here made asphalt. I want to get that one started. I want to get that one started. Just kind of queuing everything up. But I wanted to show you that I'm... I at least wanted to show you that I'm queuing everything up. Helicopter. Oh, right. Really? So, some dissidents, some governmental dissidents have decided... Holy crap. Uh, <laughs> this thing caught fire as soon as I cut road access to it. So, that's got to go. Yeah, that's got to go, unfortunately. Because I cut access to it by doing that, so... I mean, they should have been able to get through here, though. So, what gives? Fire department? Maybe the helicopter is good enough? Maybe they think the helicopter is good enough. It is not. There they go. Yeah. So, I cut road access to it right away. That's wild. Okay. So, I guess we'll leave this active until this road is done. And then we'll do that. Otherwise, I... Yeah. Whatever. There's going to be a fire. Uh, let's see. Police looking pretty good. Crime, non-existent. We have pretty much the same number of prisoners we had before. And because we have people going over in the cable way now, I don't think there's an, it's necessary to have prisoners be brought to uh, power anymore. I don't think that's actually necessary. So what I'd like to do is I'm going to take this route here. And I'm going to tell them instead to bring them over to, let's say, fabric or food. Let's say fabric for now. Let's have them go and work in the fabric factory instead, okay? Because we could use... We could use some help over there in fabric. Uh, this train has been doing okay, but it's, it's kind of stalled out because it doesn't have the ability to unload all of its crops. So that's why I want fabric to go. So we can unload the crops faster. And then also... Uh, I would very much like to, you know, create some more clothing so I could load clothing here as well. We don't have a lot of clothing, but I could allow them to, to load it just for a little bit and see what happens. And uh, why don't we say 20... Yeah, how about this? Go to the customs house now. Go ahead and go back there. You're loading steel there, which I think you can go ahead and postpone doing. You don't need to do that. Just the crops is fine. And then we'll make sure that when you come back, you try to load clothing too. And I'll say 20% full here. That's probably fine. Have we started getting our own boards yet? Trees do take a long time to grow. I mean, that's understandable. It's a pretty realistic thing. Other construction projects happening right now uh, in real time. The supermarket that's over here, the big shopping center. That's gonna happen. We already have the warehouse done so i'm gonna go ahead and just i don't need to pause it just gonna readjust this really quick so that we only have the stuff that matters in here we're gonna say that we want food in here clothes in here and electronics of course but a really small amount of electronics is fine so we'll say that we want maybe a 10 percent on electronics and you can kind of make everything else happen and let's go a little bit heavier on food we'll go about I think like this is probably a good balance here inside this area. Um, and of course, meat storage is just meat storage, but there's no power supply to these buildings. So we need to look at power as well. That's a good thing to keep in mind right now too. So I'm gonna say I want power right about here. Should be a good spot for it. And then I'm also gonna put in another waste bin right over here next to this. Uh, yeah, this is, this is fine. We'll put one in right about here. Nope, actually, I want to make sure this connects first, right? So that needs to connect first. And then the waste bin. The waste storage. 
can be right about here, okay? Kind of made that a little bit there, didn't I? Like that. All right, so that takes care of uh, at least the basics of what we're going to need for power in this area too. And this is going to get overloaded pretty quick. So we're going to definitely need to think about power in this area more, uh, more in depth. Uh, I'm going to place another one right here, I think. That's a pretty good spot. And uh, as far as where we're going to bring the power in from, we have this, right? This transformer here. And we're going to route cables down into here from there too. I was thinking one in the middle here would be a good idea, but there's no way to get the road connection to it. So if I do one in the middle, it's going to have to be here. And that might be okay. This thing is getting its power from these two sources. And this is at 135%. This is at 124%. So we're definitely in need of more power uh, coming in here. So I'm going to place another one right here, I think. And then I'm going to put another one, I think, right over about here. Uh, yeah. How about on this side? This side's fine. Put one right about here. You're a bit confused, aren't you? <laughs> What's going on with you? Oh, right. You're trying to bring it to the cableway. Do you even have anything on you? You don't even have any vehicles anymore. I, I stopped buying cableway vehicles, which means... Oh, dude, you know what that means? We have like 50 on this now, right? Yeah. Nice. 50 cable cars are on there now. Good. So I've got 100% of these guys working there, and I've got 50% uh, of these guys working here, too. I've moved the university educated people out of here as well. So there you go. Now, they're not allowed to move there, all right? But if you're already here and you go and get an, a university education, you may still live here. So that extra one person, that was probably what happened there. But now we have a really steady workforce, really steady number of people constantly flowing into this location from the cableway. We should have pretty much maxed out things. Look at this. Waste, as, a, as far as problems go, waste is a thing of the past. There is absolutely, yeah, nothing. Nothing to worry about with waste at all now. Uh, the metal scrap being over here is a little bit interesting. I don't think I like that too much. I would like to adjust that if I could. Let's just find the... Which dump is it? Let me guess. You're probably this one. Yep. So this one, we want you to dump mixed waste only in these locations, okay? Uh, so here, I want you to load metal scrap, and then we are going to add... We already have that one. We want to add and unload for metal scrap. Very good. It's already done. Good. So that should hopefully help the garbage trucks in moving the metal scrap out of here, I think. At least I'm hoping, anyway. And putting it over into that spot where it's supposed to be. And then as soon as this is built, we'll get another dedicated garbage truck to go over and, and put that metal scrap right here, okay? And because we have these buildings totally full all the time, it might be time to look at the possibility of expanding just a little bit, all right? So like getting the other coal processor up, getting the other coal power plant going. But that part isn't really needed until this can have uh, like a hundred people in it at minimum all the time. So a lot of coal is able to be generated right now and it's being processed as fast as we can and it's being worked as fast as we can. It's a beautiful thing. It really is. It's pretty, pretty sweet. Um, this elevator is working or conveyor is working. I think I can probably go ahead and get these two things done. Let's just go ahead and queue those up. That way I can get access to that coal from another source. Just extra backup power because we are sucking it down way, way faster now so that should be uh that might be a, a concern later if i if i happen to notice that that's empty we're still selling power everything is good all right i mean i, I know i've skipped around a lot in this video i was really hoping to focus on loyalty and stuff but i gotta get this building done you know so i'm gonna let it i'm gonna skip ahead and let it get done and um you know i could be right back then before I do that, though, let's set up distribution to at least deliver the resources required into this building. So our, distribu our distribution plant here is going to come over and you're going to add. Now, the smart thing to do here is to add this as the source, because then I get to have one connection and have it be for both buildings. But since the factory connections aren't created yet, 
I'm just gonna do two of them for now. We're gonna have both of these added. And all I wanna do is say, hey, unload meat here until you're, you know, 40%. That's fine. And make sure you unload food and clothing and electronics into this building until it's like, say, 80% full, okay? That should have these guys spring to life, which there's already, there's just not enough trucks in here. Look at this, I still don't have enough trucks. All right, all right, all right, all right. Maybe the A30Ns are not sufficient. Maybe I do need bigger ones. Now, I may have a bigger closed, bigger covered hull. At least I thought I had a bigger covered hull somewhere. Where did that bigger covered hull go? Uh, you know what, it could be you. It, you don't really look good, but you're just going back and forth making sure the, th this truck's job is to ensure that our advanced components, electrical, mechanical components, plastics, etc., is always available in this warehouse. But we don't need it to do it anymore because this factory connection is now done. So I can have a train do that. Because I can have a train do that now, I think what I'd rather you do is just have a seat and not go back and forth and use fuel for no reason. And then I'm just going to buy bigger trucks, uh, at least a couple of them. So how about we get... Uh, there's only one refrigerated truck here, and it's at 51%. So I'm thinking we grab one more refrigeration truck. We do the big one. I think that's probably for the best. Yeah, six and a half tons. That's fine. One more refrigeration truck. And then I guess we have to hit... I mean, I don't need the big, big ones. But the A30Ns seem to be insufficient for what I needed to do. Yeah, the, the, they're smaller, of course. That was the whole goal. Uh, how about we grab... These ones look interesting. These ones look interesting. I like you. I'm gonna grab three of those. Okay, well, this store is done. That's unfortunate. Because <laughs> I don't have any power here yet. And um, the sewage is going to start building up and everything, too. So I need additional sewage systems and stuff. We're actually going to dump the uh, sewage from here. We're actually going to dump it in that pond, not this one. I've got plans for this one. I don't want to take up anything. So we're going to dump it there. Since the city is going to progress this direction, and eventually the big urban area is going to continue into Charlie Limits North as well, uh, all of this gets to be where we dump the sewage. Uh, for this, just as like a, a preview of the idea anyway, in the stream series, I made a channel and I really enjoyed that. I thought it looked pretty good. Uh, if you're not familiar with what I was talking about, basically I cut a path into the, into the land that connected one side of a river to another. And I put a wall with it and you know concrete barrier sort of, it looked like a, like a channel. All right. Like the Panama Canal kind of thing, okay? And uh, I would like to do that here too. Now, this is a very elevated area here, so it's, it gets up pretty high here. But uh, I was thinking it'd be kind of interesting if I cut in just enough space for a ship to pass through one at a time sort of thing. And then um, we can have bridges and stuff going over top of those for the ships. Uh, I, again, I don't know how high the bridge needs to be. It probably needs to be too high to do that, so I probably won't do that. But... Um, I thought it'd be interesting to kind of see something like that. Maybe small boats can get in here, but big boats, they don't. Uh, and then we have this huge area here where as the city progresses and expands, we have beaches and fun things are here. And then we can ship things out with ships or, or bring in stuff from ships from other places in the Republic. It can all be brought right in here real close to the city. I think that's a pretty cool idea for the future. So I don't want to dump anything in here because, I mean... I don't think it actually matters for people's health. Like we probably realistically could dump our sewage on this side of it and then swim on this side of it and it'd be fine. But I'm kind of trying to role play this a little bit and I don't want to dump sewage in a closed in lake like this that we are ultimately going to be using for recreation. So it's going to be this little lake right here that I'm going to end up dumping things in. So since I need sewage on this side, let me just real quick check and see, do I have any, I should have one more left. Yeah, right here. So this sewage connection over here can uh, go into there. But as we expand this way further, we are going to need to address that over time. Uh, so the heating thing is done. This is water substation. There's no sewage except right here. So that sewage is covering all of the homes as designed, but it doesn't cover that. So this is the new thing that we're covering. 
but because we're covering something new let's uh plan ahead for the future and see about maybe getting it to be really close to this road uh this is a railroad actually so maybe not as close to this as i thought but i, I kind of wanted to go this direction so that we can cover more buildings on this side with it so I'm going to place this right about here seems good. And let's go just a little bit further in because I may actually place something here. So we'll go just a little bit further in just to cover that if possible. This should be all right, right about there, I think. And we'll face it that direction. Yep. And then we'll take a... Uh, this is probably a pretty good amount of stuff that's going to happen here. But I'm going to go with a small pipe for now. And then we should see... a this connection be allowed, although it's telling me it's not. So clearly this is elevated more than I thought it was. So this is at 6.4 and over here is at 15. Are you kidding me? What was I thinking? What was I thinking? Well, I probably was thinking, you know, I need to come from this side and this side 16. So it was okay but by then, but this is 15, yeah, but this is way lower. So going that side is going to be a pain in the butt. Uh, let me see real quick. This is 5-2. So this is good. We need that. And this is 16. So right about, looks like right about here is where I need it. 16.8 is where I need this. So what I want to do here is we're going to have a, let's say, 6.8. 6 16 point, sorry. Let's put it on this side, maybe. We're going to put in one of these switches right here so I can get more into this. Uh, yeah, I think right about here should be another switch. That's at 15.8.18. Right, and then this right here is 15.4. So anything that goes into this switch can go this way. Let's, uh, let's pull this back. And pull that back too. I may need to go 15. I, I didn't want to because it's like one extra ton of steel and it's a lot more concrete. But if I ha if I must, then I must. We'll go to 15 here. All right, and then you should totally work now because now you're way lower. Where is Rico? Where to go? Where to go? Right here. Yeah, that works. And then we just make this straight. Let me make sure it's not doing this big bendy thing. Yeah, it does this weird bendy thing. I wish they wouldn't do that, but it's a little hard to get it to cooperate. Uh, maybe if I go lower like this. So about here in a straight line. It's a gradual decline instead. And then from there, I bring it to here. That should be a bit a bit straighter. There we go. And then from this point here, very easily, it just goes into there. All right. So that's our sewage solution as we expand. Now, that's way more expensive than I needed to do for one building. But this is planning for the future. And this sewage tank needs to cover a lot of buildings and probably another 3,000 people. So it, it, it's got to... It's got to service a wide area. All these roads are now added to the schedule, okay? Let's get them done. Oh my goodness. I like how it's not blocking the road. Except for the emergency vehicles, okay? Like, construction, you guys can pass. That's no big deal, all right? All you guys can do what you gotta do, but... Oh, emergency vehicles, no. You're not allowed to get the people, right? The people are dying because of our rail construction office right now. Okay, sorry for skipping around so much. It's just the way this video is going. So, uh, we still have the sewage tank overflow problem. They're going to have to work on that. We, see, we got sewage trucks to take care of it. It'll it'll happen. Here's the power. It's at 38%. And um, this connector goes all the way out. I hooked up everything with the power lines again. I'm trying to trying to skip some of the monotonous stuff for this video because there's just a lot of stuff I wanted to cover. And then uh, there's also just... Like, I needed time because the secret police needs done in order for me to, like, you know, actually have this video be about loyalty. I need to have this video, this, this building done. So phone tapping... That's completed now. We don't need to worry about it anymore. And uh, we could go into television study as well. I'm going to take a deviation and, and go to bauxite production first, though, just to open up a new avenue for us for planning purposes later. Because I can't plan the stuff unless I can see it. And then here's this grid power connection, Soviet countries. I love it. We can make our own power connections at the border. Love it. 
go ahead and do that. And then I'm also going to do the pipeline one after that too. Um, we're a little bit ways away from me even being able to use those. So this building's now running, uh, looking pretty good. There are, there's a gap in this one that we don't have clothing here. So they can't get clothing here. They'll have to go to the bus and get clothing from someplace else, or they can grab it from this store. And that's fine. As long as they have access to it, right? They can come to this building and it'd be like, oh my gosh, I don't have clothes here. I can't believe it. They will then try to meet that need in another location. It's not going to drop their happiness all that much. We're at 2% unemployment. I'd like to see that a little higher. So hopefully we start getting some people uh, move it in. But like these are packed houses now. So if I want people to move in, guess what I got to do? Time to build new houses. And uh, apparently I never built this little walkway. There you go. Get that done. Get that started. Yeah, I got some gravel roads there happening. There's all sorts of like little things going on around here, right? It's just like the mundane stuff, right? The repetitive stuff. <laughs> the stuff that you guys don't want to see. Like I made the roads and stuff too. I don't know if I showed you that yet because I've been cutting around this video. But look, the highways are looking good, right? No traffic problems at all. Everything's moving super fast. I like it. Got a little bit of a hiccup here. We're trying to get this done. I'm trying to make this whole thing a roundabout too. Looks like it's a worker thing. 19 work days. They're not sending people over here. They're not sending everything here. And I need this done in order to actually make this a roundabout. So this is where our traffic congestion starts to happen is on places where it's not quite complete yet. All right, secret police is about to be finished. We're gonna look at that. Before we do that though, this is gonna need some waste. It is in range of these two things, but it's not going to be close. In, like, this is already overloaded. There's a lot of stuff hitting these two things. So I'm going to just add an extra one right over here on the side. Uh, about like this next to this tree should work. I'll replace the tree. Don't you worry. Uh, we're going to get this over like so. And then let's go ahead and get that tree added right back behind there. No? Well, we'll add a few different trees. How's that sound? Just make this place tree. Lots and lots of trees. Okay, I planted a tree, okay? So, what we needed for the secret police, uh, we're gonna go ahead and just tell them zero workers at the moment. And um, what we need for this building are personal cars. Looks like everyone's flooding in. So everyone wanted to be part of the secret police. <laughs> Good for you. Uh, I need to have a walking path and I kind of wanted it to come from this side along the track. So we've got this this area already here that's kind of going across the track, but I don't think I can do that because this rail is merging. So it's gonna have to come from this side. Uh, no, we can do it right here, actually. Yeah, we already have it crossing. So let's bring it like this, from this side, like so, and hook it up like there, okay? And then I want you to come over this way. Now, I would love this to cross, but I just don't think it's gonna let me do that. Um, if I could do it like this, I can cross over here, but I can't cross here. Uh, I maybe can cross here. I need to delete the track a little bit. I don't want to go too close because then it's going to make me you know, have to do deconstruction and I don't want to do that. So I'm hoping that if I just take a path like that, will the rail allow me to rebuild it? Yes. Good. All right. So. We'll say that that's a new thing and um, just get rid of anything that I'm allowed to get rid of. And then I can take the walking path and just come from this side down here and just hook in. Uh, well, this is going to have to actually curve. So I probably should have done it a little bit over here, but that's fine. We'll just uh, wrap it around and curve this way, I guess. That's fine. I don't care. And then we'll go like so. All right. That gives me the walking paths all around the tracks, which is exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, we can hook that up, and we can also hook this up from this side here. That hooks that up, and then also from this side here, like that. All right, so now we have the walking path connections. We have the waste management. The last part about secret police is all the people who work here have personal cars. I like to have all my secret police be in black cars, real black classy cars, unfortunately. The real black classy cars are the most expensive ones. Go figure. Uh, but we have until 1995 to stop buying these if we choose to stop buying them. So I'm going to say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I overspent. 
<laughs> I'm overspent big time. But now when we see the black cars running around, we know that that's the secret police, all right? Uh, and once this is done, I can maybe put this in biological waste or something. So let's go ahead and allow the maximum number of professors to be in here. And uh, we're going to jack the government loyalty requirements up to about 70 here. But we won't know who's loyal. Let's actually bring it down to 60. We won't know who's loyal until people start working here. Which means everyone is allowed to work here until we learn the truth. <laughs> okay. Uh, the next thing I want to do is I actually have two fuel rats. Um, I, I've had this for a bit. I don't know if anybody's noticed. There's a lot of trucks over here. Let's actually send these guys to sell some fuel. You might notice my budget is doing awesome. But that's about to change, I think. I really need to get more people working food. We're going to look at it in a second. I'm going to add the secret police as a source. I have two separate fuel rats now because I needed more connections. I maxed out at 20, right? So, need more connections. Air for, ergo, need more uh, fuel rat offices. Got plenty of fuel. Okay. So this train, I'm going to pause it right here. This train has been loading clothes, food, etc. It's been doing all these things. And I don't want it to do that anymore. So I've taken it off the load. Um, because it's pulling all the food out, pulling the alcohol out. And we need that for the new store. The new store needs uh, to have some stuff. So I can't keep pulling clothes into here and then not having any available for uh, anyone else. So we have lots of clothes coming in here, but we're gonna need more. So there you go. We're gonna pause our exports. However, you can see I've got over $509,000 or rubles. So why don't we get out of debt a little bit more, huh? Why don't we borrow, let's say we borrow 450. Actually, let's be really aggressive. Let's say we borrow 400. Okay, and then we pay off the 880. That is going to take a huge, that's a huge dent out of our debt. And now our total payments every month are under 7,000 rubles. We're only 400 grand in debt now. Mischief managed. <laughs> All right. So, secret police are going to go off and do their thing. All the black cars, right? You see a black car head out, you know that they are our spies. And their job is to go out to where everybody lives after they get fuel, of course. They're going to go out where everybody lives and they're going to plant cameras and microphones and all sorts of stuff in all the different rooms, right? That's what they're going to do. That's their only their only purpose in the whole world is to spy on people, okay? And as they spy on people, as long as the building is, is green, we'll be able to cover it. And uh, we do. We have a pretty good range here. I believe it's the range of the vehicle, so it's like two, two kilometers, I think. So we get to see what their loyalty is, right? So we're going to focus on loyalty for the next couple of videos. We're really going to try to hammer in on happiness and loyalty as we improve our population. And as our population grows, so will our production. Our means of production, if you will, will grow. Um, we should have... Yeah, everything should be great. The one thing I will say, though, is I'm a little bit struggling on food. And I'd like to not struggle on food so much. So th these two flats are done now. Double checking. They cannot reach store so they are going to the bus stop i've been told that if you can make it to the bus stop you can make it to the store your walking distance resets that's what i've been told still haven't been able to identify it still going to keep an eye on it whether or not i can identify that or not but i believe they will be able to reach the store well I, at least i thought they would be able to reach the store oh once we got our tunnel set up that was the prerequisite for that the tunnel needs to be done before that can happen this tunnel right here needs to be done before we can do this. So uh, I'm going to take the underpass tunnel. And you are going to go to there. Mm, should we go to the other side? I think we should probably go to the other side. Let's go to the other side. We'll say from here, from this side to here. That's going to be better. Yeah, it's a little extra distance. I don't think it'll make too big of a deal. Uh, but it's gonna give me the expandability of being able to put another tunnel like from over here for example or whatever I can I could do another tunnel later, but with that done can we reach the, the store? Later on oh So so close I think that's doable I'm not sure how <laughs> um, Maybe it's with this road being upgraded, but these are all walking paths Hmm. 
Well, like I said, the people people have said that you can uh, that they should be able to reach it if they can reach the bus stop, and they can reach the bus stop. So maybe that really is all they need to do. I don't know. We'll keep an eye on it. We'll see. If people are unhappy and they starve here, then we'll know that's not the way it works. Uh, speaking of which, let's take a few of these people and relocate them. I know they don't. They're not going to like this, but I need it. So we're going to say uh, you are relocated to here and here. All right. So we're going to spread some people out, get them to make families in these buildings, and um, we want you to go and work in food. All right. So that building goes and works in food. You can work anywhere you want, but that means you can also work in clothing potentially later too. Ooh, hang on. Ooh, yeah, only one can work in clothing. I gotta make this. I gotta make this a better road. So that's gonna be my next little project is getting this to be asphalt. I think. Um, we could start with. Well, I guess we just start with that spot. It's fine. There we go. Okay, I've let this video drag on long enough, and man, have I made a lot of cuts. I'm sorry. <laughs> if that's not your thing, I apologize. But it's just the way it had to happen. Uh, it's a little disorganized today. I gotta pick up my I gotta pick up my daughter from daycare soon. Uh, this was working okay. I think it's not now just because there's barely any actors. We're starting to see that, you know, government loyalty is required for certain things. If I drop this down, maybe it can work better. I don't know. Um, but I, this was more effective before. So, we have 85 staff and only two actors. Weird. Now there's no actors at all, but we have 100 people on staff. So, what's the deal here? Hey, if I go down to zero, will that change anything? Yeah. So, without any government loyalty requirement, they'll work here, which is helping government loyalty, I guess. So, okay. No, not 100. Let's, yeah, drop it down to like, let's go 52. Right? Fine. 52 is now our new limit. All right. And then uh, you can see that the, the waste is building up, which probably means I don't have any waste bins close enough. I don't because this isn't done. So this needs to be done as well. Okay. So I'm going to leave you guys here. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate you. I hope you'll leave a like, even though I was a terrible video. <laughs> I hope you'll leave a, leave a like on it anyway. Okay. Take it easy. We'll see ya. Bye-bye.